For many years, the United States government has been the world's largest publisher. Each government agency published many pamphlets, regulations, policies, and other materials to inform their constituents on the issues. With the development of the Internet, many of these materials are no longer printed and distributed through the mail. They are simply posted on the Internet. Many of these are issued by a particular government agency and are the official stance of the agency about the issue. Others are the opinions of people in government office to share their views and concerns so that their constituents know their stance. Others are reports based on government funded research. While all of these are on .gov websites, government documents are materials published by a government agency and don't have a personal author. You will need to locate a government document on your topic that has a government agency for the author, not a personal author. Probably the easiest way to locate a government document is to enter your search and on your first results page go to settings in the upper right corner and choose advanced search. On the next screen you can limit the results to .gov websites. You can add a few other limits, but be careful. There is no official indexing, subject headings, or other labels. These limits are based on how the material was posted online, and there is no consistency. You might find the limits helpful, but they are unreliable. Then begin a review of the results. On many computers, the scholarly articles on your topic will be at the top, but most of these will have personal authors. If you know the name of a government agency that may have information on your topic, you can enter that in the search bar. It should help. After looking through several sources, I finally found one that addresses my topic and is authored by a government agency, not a personal author. However, the web page only has a couple paragraphs and then a bunch of links to other sites, and none of the links proved helpful, so I returned to my results list. After looking through a few pages of results, I finally found something useful. To cite this source, you need to identify all the elements, such as the author, which is the agency responsible, the title, the publication number, and the publication date. Also, make sure you have the complete URL for the citation. It is important to remember that the parent type of source is a government document, so the citation guidelines are for government documents, whether print or online. In APA, the citation begins with the government agency as the author, Make sure you have the specific office that authored the material. Include the name of the state, city, or other government entity only if it is part of the name of the agency. The complete date is provided with the year, month, and day as provided on the document or website. The title is in italics with only the first word of the title and subtitle capitalized. And if the report has a publication number, Put that in parentheses after the title. Then, if you are using an online edition, put the complete URL and don't add any punctuation after the URL. Do not include the words retrieved from unless the source requires a retrieval date, which is only when it is posted on a site that changes frequently, such as a blog or social media. Those sites are rarely used for research sources. In MLA style, government documents are considered books with corporate authors. Begin with the name of the government entity, whether it is a country, state, city, county, or something else. Then the name of the actual department that is responsible for the document. The title is in italics with each major word capitalized. Next is the city of publication, followed by the publisher and year of publication. MLA does not always require the URL, but most instructors prefer the URL in the citation. MLA does require the date accessed as the last element of the citation, 
which closes with a period. The score assessment has a few quirks for government documents, but they make sense. First, you have to look at the source itself and determine the audience. Is it for the general public, children, or for professionals in a particular field or discipline? Make sure you note the field or discipline in your assessment. Currency is based on the date of publication. You can easily assess that, assuming that your website has a date of the material. For originality, rarely are government documents primary sources. Usually they are secondary or tertiary sources, although most government officials would claim that they are based on research. As for expertise, the government agency is comprised of experts, and as a government agency is assessed two points for expertise. In the relevance section, make sure your comments are specific to the source. If you have an abstract, a useful summary develops from reading that. If not, scan the introduction and conclusion. You should be able to grasp the author's goals and what was accomplished, and sometimes the impact of their findings. As always, if you have any questions or want my assistance, please contact me.